Joint bleeds are the most common compilation in hemophilia, accounting for up to 85% of bleeding episodes in patients. Bleeds can occur in elbows, ankles and knees, but knees are the most common. They can happen as a result of an injury, but in people suffering from severe hemophilia can be triggered without an obvious cause. Let's first examine how a normal joint works and let us use the knee joint as an example. In the interior of the joint, we can observe the kneecap and the end of three large bones, the femur, the tibia and the fibula. The surfaces of these bones are covered by cartilage which protects them from the damage occurring by the continuous friction that occurs between them. The joint is also surrounded by the synovial membrane, a soft tissue that produces synovial fluid. Imagine synovial fluid as a small volume of lubricating fluid that facilitates joint movement. The synovial membrane contains many blood vessels. If they bleed, blood flows towards the interior of the joint. In people who do not suffer from hemophilia, the bleeding stops quickly without any impact on the joint. Let's see now what happens to people with hemophilia. The bleeding continues for longer periods and the interior of the joint is filled with blood. If the bleeding is not treated immediately by administering the proper treatment, the buildup of blood causes swelling of the joint, pain and stiffness. At the same time, the body tries to remove the accumulated blood, but the volume that has been accumulated takes time to be absorbed. This process produces substances such as iron, which are toxic to the bones and cartilage, and causes inflammation of the synovial membrane. Another feature of hemophilia is that the same joint may bleed repeatedly during one's lifetime. Moreover, bleeding usually begins in preschool ages and can reoccur during adulthood, causing joint damage. Over time, the synovial membrane bleeds very easily, while at the same time it loses its ability to produce synovial fluid. This causes damage to the cartilage and, as a result, bone damage. This chain of events leads to hemophilic arthropathy, where the joint becomes increasingly painful and stiff. That is why it is very important to recognize the signs of a bleeding immediately. At first, the person may feel a tingling sensation in the joint. This is the first sign of bleeding. Gradually, the joint swells. It becomes painful, warm and stiff. Early treatment means that less blood will accumulate in the joint, reducing the short-term as well as the long-term complications. Other important measures that help to deal with the bleeding include resting the joint for at least 24 hours, applying ice for 15 to 20 minutes, applying pressure at the affected area and elevating the affected joint. As always, in the case, prevention is better than the cure. This is why it is very important for people with hemophilia to remain in good physical shape, maintain a healthy weight and always follow the instructions of their treating physician. Do not forget, regular exercise protects the health of the muscles and joints, thus assisting in avoiding bleeding episodes.